What's up, y'all? It is your girl, Angel, and welcome back to Angel's Life. Okay, y'all, so in today's video, I am going to be talking about my current wardrobe favorites. These are the things that have been in rotation in my closet. I am constantly reaching for them no matter what, and that is always a good thing for me, okay? And it's a little insight for y'all. So if that sounds interesting to you, please stay tuned. But before we get into the video, I do wanna say welcome to all my new subscribers. Welcome back to all my day ones. What's up y'all, how y'all doing? My name is Angel. I run a style, lifestyle, and travel channel. So if that sounds interesting to you, please go ahead and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Now let's go. Yeah, I know I say this every video. I don't want to make this video too long and then the video be about the fucking 25 minutes, okay? Listen, I don't want to make this video too long, so we're going to run through these bad boys, okay? My first current favorite, I would say I'm going to let y'all guess, but I mean, it could be goddamn anything, okay? I am wearing it though. Y'all want to guess now? I give y'all three seconds. My first current wardrobe brace, <laughs> well, I did already say it. My first current wardrobe favorite are my dupe Dior bracelets. So now y'all know I have these in multiple colors and baby, she don't leave the house without them. She does not leave the house without them. They are a layering piece for my watch and they just layer so perfectly, so inexpensive. Because again, I ain't paid $500 for them. You tried it, Dior. You tried it, Christian Dior. You tried it once, you tried it twice. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. No, but seriously, it's not gonna happen. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Do I look dumb? I'm not. Anyway, I got this one from Amazon and all my other ones. Well, I got one from Etsy, the rest from Amazon, but y'all, Elevates an outfit, elevates my watches, elevates a look, 10 out of 10, would absolutely recommend. Period, Pooh. That is my current favorite, number one. I have five and an honorable mention. Let's move on to number two. Number two are these black cargo jeans that I have on today. Y'all, when I tell y'all I have reached for these so much, I did, I did get them altered so that they fit really nice around the waist and the height is perfect. But y'all, these jeans are so comfortable. They're so easy to style. Like they just, they're just giving. And y'all know I have them in like a dark wash denim as well as the black cargo. I think I have reached for the black cargo more in the summer and I'm more likely to reach for the denim in the fall and in the winter because I just think it will look so nice with my chunky brown and dark colored sweaters. But I have definitely reached for these gray wash cargos way more than ever expected. And I did get these, these were gifted to me by Pretty Pieces, Shop Pretty Pieces. It is a black owned boutique out of Florida and I love them, I love them. My girl Nicole is the owner, wonderful, beautiful, just, just all the things, all the things. Shout out to you, Miss Nicole, you know I love you girl. But yes, these like, and of course, this does come in the set. It does come with the peplum top, but it's the jeans for me. It's it's the jeans for me. The jeans alone make the set worth it. So you better run now. Next is my purification Garcia. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I know somebody who like pronounced it the right way in the comments of my unboxing for this video. And I think he said like purification. Garcia, I don't know, we are gonna call it PG though. It is my PG denim top handle bag. Every time I wear it, I get compliments. Somebody literally went to the store and bought this exact same bag in San Antonio. Y'all, yes, yes, absolutely yes, okay? Yes, every single time. Um, it. <laughs> It's a top handle bag, y'all know I love that. It has a crossbody strap, y'all know I love that. I love a multi-function, multi-purpose bag. And then it's just so sophisticated. It looks way more expensive than it is. And that is what I love. I love a bag that look expensive, 
but it ain't expensive. And every time I pull out my denim, because there's different shades of denim in there, every time I pull out any denim, I am grabbing this bag. And something else that I absolutely love about it is the, the cognac color trim makes it perfect for fall. It makes it perfect for fall. My only complaint is that it's kind of hard closing it. Like if you're on a run, it can be a little finicky when closing. But girl, it ain't that big of a deal, honey. Because if that's the case, we can just leave it open like that and it looks absolutely fine. But yes, 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 and more yes. Absolutely. Piece number four is this Pumi bodysuit y'all this bodysuit is so comfortable it is so easy to throw on so easy to style i've washed it multiple times and it looks great it hasn't faded i feel like so often when i wash black pieces they fade and start to look dingy girl not this bodysuit she still looks and feels wonderful and again y'all know i don't be wearing no bra and y'all know i don't be wearing no drawers play with your mama not me i don't care this <laughs> This bodysuit just, just sucks it in the right way, but it's not too tight. I can breathe. It's just so comfortable. And to be honest, I want it in every color. If not every color, I definitely need it in black and white. So, or cream. So, don't be surprised if you see it. I typically do not buy things in multiple colors. But in, tw in the summer of 2023, I've learned the value of buying things in multiple colors. I just have. So this is piece number four. Okay. And piece number five is my Kyra Denaya crossover jeans. Y'all, these goddamn jeans are so comfortable. The material is so so it, it just feels so good. They were a little big in the waist, so of course I did get them taken in. But y'all, I absolutely love these jeans. I love these jeans. I cannot wait to wear them with my boots and sweaters in the fall. But let me tell you how much I love these jeans. And let me tell you how much I love Kyra Denaya as a brand and as a person, okay? The brand, everything I get from them, it just hit it hit like it's supposed to the quality is just there it's not something that i see on a lot on any other sites i just live for it live for it live for it and i love these jeans so much and kyra denaya is so generous that i am actually giving a pair of way all right, y'all, this is like my second giveaway in August, y'all. August a good goddamn month. You better let somebody know. <laughs> I am giving away a pair of Kyra Denaya jeans, crossover jeans. And to enter this giveaway, this is what you have to do. You have to be following me on IG, following Kyra Denaya on IG, and of course, I will list the rules in the description as well. Tag two people in the latest Kyra Denaya post where I have this outfit on. And you also have to share that reel. Okay? I said and like that was the last thing. It's not. You also have to You also have to share that reel uh, and sign up for the email list. So I sign up for the Kyra Denaya email list, which I will leave a link to sign up in the description bar. So let me say that one more time because I feel like I was stumbling. Let's make this clear. Follow both me and Kyra Denaya on Instagram. Okay? Two, tag two people in the IG post. Three, share the reel with this latest Kyra, the, the latest post with me in the jeans. And four, and yeah, and four, sign up for the email list. And like I said, that a link to that will be down below. Good luck to everybody. The giveaway will be one week long. So on next Thursday, which will be, so on next Thursday, August the 24th, that is when we will announce the winner, okay? We'll just go ahead and DM you 
or email you letting you know that you have won. Now I do want, there is a caveat, there's only sizes one through seven left. Size nine sold out, so only sizes one through seven left. Just throwing that out there, okay? So again, good luck to everybody. Can't wait to select the winner. And my honorable mention for my favorites is my Marc Jacobs mini leather tote. Now, there's a caveat to this one, right? So this tote is perfect because of its size. Y'all know for a, a very, very long time, my daily driver was my YSL mini camera bag. And although I love that bag to death, it doesn't hold much. It's not practical for like a daily driver for me, right? This bag, however, is like the perfect size to carry all of my crap. And to be honest, this bag would be perfect had I gotten a different color, maybe. The reason that I say this is because one, yellow gets color transfer. I've had to clean this bag way more times to say that I've only had it for a couple months. I got this bag in June, it's only August, and this bag shows wear as far as I'm concerned. But furthermore, I'm gonna come up close. You can see where in the corners here, corners here, I mean like literally all four corners, there's wear on the bag, on top of the fact that mine has an ink stain in the inside. So, and wear on the handles as well as discoloring. So I have been contemplating getting this bag in black or in argan oil, but I would have to sell this one, lose out on money, and y'all, like, I think a year ago, a year ago, Angel would not even thought twice. Girl, I would've sold this bag for $50, $60, and just been like, girl, let's go. We just gonna get the, we gonna, gonna get the right color now that we've learned the mistake. I'm not that girl anymore. I'm not in the business of selling bags for less than what I paid for them. Like, I'm just not on that level anymore. So I, I maybe, so because of that, I'm not gonna sell it. Maybe I'm going to add some twillies or something or do something. Also the strap, the strap was a nuisance. It would always come out the little holder, which is why I got this strap. And I'm gonna play around with some like different colors to make it work. But I really am not in the business of wasting money in anymore, especially on clothes, on bags, on none of that shit. If I bought it, we gonna use it. We ain't selling things the way we used to. Now, when it is time to, I will. If I really see something does not have value, then I will sell it. But otherwise, if it's just like, oh, I don't like the color, I don't like this girl, we gonna have to make it work if we've already bought it. We gonna have to make it work because our money don't grow on trees, baby. We gotta work for it, okay? And I'm not working to be wasting it. Can I get a man up in here? Thank you. That is number six. And that is all my current favorites, okay? Please stay tuned. I will be talking in my next video, I wanna say, I will be talking about my fall focuses and some pieces that I bought for fall because it's, we shouldn't be shopping for summer things no more, y'all. We should put a pause on that. You know, if you see something on sale, you just gotta pick it up, pick it up. But besides that, we should kind of be turning our focus to fall, so. Don't say I didn't warn you, okay? But I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Angel's Life and on TikTok at One Angel's Life. I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.